Hello, my name is Andy Durrant from Race Technology. This video is a description of the standard and optional features on the Dash 2 Pro. Now the, uh, the first thing to explain is we actually changed the specification of the Dash 2 Pro in July 2017. Previous to that date, logging and the advanced features were not standard on the Dash 2 Pro. Units bought after July 2017 have built-in GPS, data login and all the advanced features included in the purchase price. So uh, as I described the units today, that's assuming a unit has been bought after July 2017. If you did buy a unit before that date, then the licenses are still available to upgrade your unit to the latest specification. Okay, so there's a number of features which are standard and there's some optional features on the Dash 2 Pro. So first of all, if we describe the standard features, so this is the unit, the Dash 2 Pro. It's a, uh, it's a metal aluminium die cast enclosure, fully o-ring to be waterproof, so it's suitable for open top cars and motorcycles, for example, as well as standard saloon cars. Across the top, we've got six high brightness LEDs, which are typically used for shift lights, but also as an alarm indicator, if you set up alarms on different channels. We've got a large area transflective LCD display, which is backlit for nighttime use, or transflective, so it's suitable for bright daylight conditions. Across the bottom, we have all the indicators which are required for road legal testing, so for IVA and MOT standard testing. So these include things like indicators, full beam and uh, brake level indicators. Uh, as I said, as standard now, the unit includes data logging, so that's eight gigabytes of internal memory, and that will log all the channels, so external sensors, ECU data, GPS data, and so on. Um, we also have a built-in GPS receiver, so the antenna's on the back here. So that's a very high quality 10 hertz GPS receiver, which is mainly used for lap timing and track mapping. Uh, we also have a digital three axis accelerometer built into unit, which is very useful for assessing grip, uh, acceleration, uh, braking points and uh, so forth. Um, they're all completely standard in the unit now. We also have the advanced uh, options built into the unit. So that includes features like the car computer, so number of laps uh, on the current fuel level, um, advanced lap timing, advanced uh, alarms. So for example, with the advanced alarms, you're able to set up a combination of things uh, a typical example would be only give an oil pressure warning um, above a thousand RPM. Uh, okay, so there are all the standard features which are available on the Dash 2 Pro, and as standard, it's a very, very powerful unit. There are also some optional uh, licenses which you may need to purchase depending on your application. The first of the optional licenses is the 6G accelerometer upgrade option. So the standard built into the Dash 2 Pro is a 2G accelerometer. Now 2G is the maximum level of acceleration or effectively grip that the unit can measure. And 2G covers the vast majority of applications. So for example, a typical road car can maybe uh, have a maximum of 1.1G. Um, if you're running a track car with no aerodynamic aids but high grip track focus tires, then typically you can get to about 1.3 G. And for a car with fairly extensive aerodynamic aids on it, but still a regular saloon car, then the, the maximum grip is normally about 1.7 G. Um, but for very large, uh, for, for, for very high grip uh, cars, so for example, Formula cars with, uh, with large wings on, it, you may be seeing over 2 G. And in that case, you'll need the optional 6 G license which increases the range of that built-in accelerometer. The next optional license gives you four additional analog inputs and four output channels. So uh, a standard, the Dash 2 Pro has four analog inputs, which is actually the standard, same as the standard Dash 2. Um, with this optional license, you get an additional four analog inputs, making a total of eight. So you can use more analog sensors. So analog sensors would include things like oil pressure, water temperature, boost pressure, um, fuel level indicator, um, suspension displacement, this kind of thing. 
Um, so the ad additional license gives you a total of eight analog inputs. It also gives you four output channels. So four output drivers. So an output channel might be used to drive a, a cooling valve or a, um, a very high brightness um, single warning LED in the vehicle. Um, so for more, more advanced applications. It should also be said that the four output channels and the four analog input channels share the same pins on the back of the unit on here. So it's only possible to use it as an output or an input. The third optional license is the PWM option. So with the output channel driver license, you can just turn a channel on or off. With a PWM, it's possible to modulate the output so it can be ramped up from zero to 100%. So again, a typical application would be a control valve that you can actually want to control the flow. For example, coolant may be uh, an option here, or even a coolant pump. So again, very much for an advanced installation where you want to control items as well as data log and so on. The next license is the second serial port license. So uh, standard, the Dash 2 Pro has one serial port, which allows you to connect to an external data source or an external data logger. In some applications, in, in very complicated installations, it may be desirable to have a second serial port. The most common uh, use for the second serial port is for connection to an external telemetry system, so a radio modem for getting data back to the pits. The next option is for the Serial Decoder ECU license. This is by far the most popular license that we sell for the Dash 2 Pro. This allows the Dash 2 Pro to be connected directly to your aftermarket ECU and to decode data from that ECU and display it on the screen. If you are running an aftermarket ECU and we make, a, a license, we make decoders for the vast majority of the, the models available, then it makes for a very neat installation. You simply connect the loom to your ECU and all the data becomes available on the screen so you don't have to duplicate sensors and it keeps wiring far more straightforward. One of the other optional licenses available for the Dash 2 Pro is the CAN reception license. This enables up to 15 CAN channels to be decoded and displayed on the screen. So applications for this would include getting CAN data from an ECU or a power control model in the car. It's a very useful license and the other thing to be aware of is it's possible to have more than one of these licenses. So you can have up to six installed on the Dash 2 Pro, each one of them capable of decoding up to 15 CAN channels. One of the other optional licenses available for the Dash 2 Pro is the CAN transmission license. This allows the Dash 2 Pro to output CAN data for logging or display on a separate external device. Hello, I hope that information was useful. If you require any additional information, then please feel free to get in contact and we'd be delighted to help. Thanks very much. Bye.